What's up guys here uh, near the Las Vegas Strip, but I wanted to show you uh, the new Las Vegas Convention Center area. And I want to show you, I just didn't do, I want to do a walk around. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you a little walk around the Las Vegas Convention Center. So it's near this cool looking skydiving, indoor skydiving facility here. And just behind me, obviously, Resorts World will be opening up this summer for that. So we'll show you more of that as things go on and uh, definitely uh, show you around town. But anyway, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and hit that thumbs up button. It helps our channel out. And here we go installed this is kind of new this little thing so i guess if you're coming to a convention you can go to bagel mania over here and get whatever whatever you can get over here it's brand new looks like it's getting ready to open maybe i could sneak in there and get a, a sneak peek i think i can Usually pretty good at this. Oh, the monorail's running. I see it running way over there. I just got a sneak peek of the monorail moving. Now they're probably gonna kick me out of here, but they probably got some like training or something going on. But it looks like bagel mania. Look at the lovely bagel. That looks pretty cool inside. So this will be open up soon. When do you guys open? Uh, not surely. Still don't have that. Take the lessons. Okay. Gracias. So not open yet, but they got all this stuff. Sandwiches and... Hey, if you're headed to the convention center, this would be a perfect spot to draw, uh, stop off at. But the first convention is going to be the World of Concrete and Construction here in Las Vegas. Look at that. We don't even have real grass. That's fake grass. Isn't that cool? No real grass here. But this here is Las Vegas Convention Center. We'll kind of do a walk around here. And to park off site just to get to it. But anyway, let's take a walk around. See if we can uh, scope out anything here. It's uh, the boring tunnel is just right over here where you see these uh, solar panelings. Wonder how close I can get to that. Um, let's see. Not sure how this operates, really. There's a. Uh... The idea is you take a Tesla car, and you it's called a Vegas Loop, or something like that, and. You enter in through this somewhere down here. Cars go down here. I guess they go down here. Not that I'm not sure if that's it or not, but kind of looks like it. Huh, cool. That's really cool. Uh, but we'll go in it and show you once it opens. Um, I will take it for a little spin, show you guys what's going on, how it works, and stuff like that. So if you like this kind of content, definitely like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. But here's the Las Vegas Expansion Convention Center. It's brand new stuff. They have a north lobby over there. Yeah, this is a pretty big project here. They all kinds of cool stuff here this is huge just as big as the other properties well we'll go to the front end of it so you guys can see the grandiosos lobby 
so you can see I'll turn around so you can see what the lot looks like you've got uh, the Drew which is now owned by the Coke brothers Coke Industries and obviously that's a uh, resorts world the Encore and Wynn are not too far away so you can probably stay there stay at resorts world so I'm guessing this area here is gonna be convention city here that's what they're planning on and the other property across the street here this land right here uh, was gonna be the Clarion I don't know if anybody if any of you remember this project was supposed to be Clarion back in the day but that never really solidified so now you got the majestic resort spa no casino it's just gonna be a resort and a spa that's what they have going on over there across the street eventually and this is the main front entry for this West Hall they're calling this one so that's kind of cool it's really nice really big take a peek inside but I did see the monorail going today so this is really interesting but uh, let's take a peek in the window and get a good look at the carpet because carpet in Vegas is really interesting a lot of space space to set up booths and all kinds of neat stuff going on in Vegas yeah. not sure if you can see that cover the glare on the window so I can see in there but yeah this is pretty big man this is pretty pretty big so it's interesting to see what Vegas is going to look like in a couple of years with all this construction and all this new builds and new stuff coming here to the city things can be pretty interesting I mean will conventions come back the way they used to will they get bigger um, but the way they're building this place it does seem like it's going to be a thing for people here I don't know if you can see in there but I'll try to get in there Looks pretty cool, pretty big. All right. So yeah, they put a lot of work into this one. There's an, the other end here. lit up pretty cool over here Let's see if I can get a shot of something in there there maybe that'll help I don't know okay oh, it's pretty big pretty big Let's see maybe I can get there we go here's a better shot I guess Good, good, good. Getting a little sneak peek. Go around the other end so you can see how close it is. This is a big, big property here. A lot of stuff going on. So I suspect a good thing, like CES is coming around. They'll probably do that here. Um, the NFR rodeo thing is a pretty big event. And several other events here. NAB show. But we'll see. This spans, I mean, the whole convention area spans all the way down and you cross the street to the other end. And there's the, the old convention center over there. So you got a lot to work with. 
as far as uh, convention space. And I'm walking. So if you got a electric scooter, portable electric scooter, would be good to, good to have, handy to have. Uh, no word on this property over here, this Italian restaurant. It hasn't been open since the shutdown. So I'm not sure if it's going to still be around or what. But it seems pretty, pretty quiet over there lately. All right, we'll keep them moving along here. Maybe we get a, a shot of the monorail zipping along. Paradise here, this road coming up. Oh, there it is. There it is, getting ready for the world of concrete and all kinds of stuff going on. So, there you guys go. The first signs of the monorail moving along in Las Vegas as of today. So, there's your answer to your questions. I don't even know if it's taking people, if they're just test running it. For maintenance purposes but cool 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 very good uh, but we did a little uh, tour of the Virgin Hotel down there hopefully you guys saw that video I'll leave a link for it but uh, check that out if you can all right so there's a little crossway here that goes into the other huge convention area. Now we're just gonna take a walk around the property so you can get an idea of what's around, what's going on around it. Bus depot here. Westgate just up ahead. We got the landmark. I don't know if you guys ever remember that old hotel casino back in the day. They kept the sign around just for prosperity's sake. So I'll turn around so you can get an idea of where we're at in this angle. So that's what it looks like over that way. And we'll just keep going around the building. It's pretty big, you guys, to get my steps in for this one. Okay, we've made it around the building, so hopefully that gives you an idea how big this place is. But, uh, you know, Resorts World's gonna be a, you know, a, a fixture in this area over here. Of course, North Las Vegas, this area's always needed a, a boost. But let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this. Would you uh, be coming here for any conventions in the near future? comment below definitely like to hear more about what you have to say and uh, as I make my way 
back around to where I came from. But it's gonna be pretty big. You can imagine in the uh, middle of summer without any sort of sun protection around this area, it's gonna get very hot over here. So we'll see what happens with all of the desert heat. It does get over, you know, summertime, you know, over 112 degrees can, you know, can get pretty hot here. And I'm already thirsty, it's not even hot. But uh, here's the other side of that where I came from. And there's a parking lot, not very, not very much parking here. Uh, probably counting on the other properties for parking. I'm sure they're gonna do some events and some cool stuff here, but you know, we'll see, we don't know yet. There's another shot of the parking. Resorts World looks pretty cool from this angle here. I like it, it looks cool. Then you've got Circus Circus next door. Not so cool. It's old, but it's, you know, they gotta do something with that property. And uh, Treasure Island bought the property. So, uh, you know, they plan on doing something with it. We just don't know what. Here's a little hallway corridor to this huge convention space, which is right into here. It's a huge space in there. Basically, it's just a giant warehouse to showcase whatever's going on there. I'm sure the world of concrete will be here this, this fall, I think November. SEMA, I'm not too sure about SEMA. It's an after car market uh, convention. But we'll see, we don't know yet. Still pretty early on in the game here as far as opening and getting things back open here in Vegas. But yeah, just in case you have a fire out here, you got an emergency cigarette butt thing. I think the no smoking thing will be a, an upward trend here in Vegas as far as indoor smoking. Um, we'll see, you know, there's no smoking in your hotel rooms, but you'll smell smoke everywhere, like, uh, different kinds of smoke, I guess you'd say, but anyway, uh, it's more of a safety factor than anything, and health, you know, you, know, you don't want to smoke too much. So yeah, beautiful springtime here in Vegas. Well, I hope you guys like this little run around we did at the new convention center. Hopefully you guys like that. Give it a like, a thumbs up. Definitely if you're new to this channel, subscribe. We got lots more to show you as far as new construction, new places to eat. Oh man, there's so much. But check out our video library. Maybe you'll find something that resonates with you. But here we are all the way back into this end over here and I'm gonna make my way over to the the loop here it's the boring tunnel loop so I'm getting ready to do some painting more paint kind of stuff over here but I guess the cars kind of loop around, drop you off, and then go right back, pick up and drop off. So there is uh, no pedestrian traffic. Do not go here. You will get squashed by a Tesla car. So this is kind of the, all the lights inside and everywhere are solar paneled, so they're trying to alleviate the carbon footprint with this project. So it looks pretty self-explanatory. Car pulls up into a bay, you get in, you go on and through the loop and it takes you somewhere else.
But I like the solar panel factor here. It's pretty cool. Let's get in, hop in, and go to the other side of the convention center. Which basically this runs through one end of the convention center to this end. And then eventually this will split off underground to other places like Resorts World, um, Encore, possibly downtown, and to the airport and different areas of the Las Vegas Strip. But that's future, future stuff. So we'll work our way out of here. Back to the bagel bagel spot so if you need to lift weights you know you've got these easy easy to handle new kettlebells these are the world's largest kettlebells I don't know if you've ever done a kettlebell but these are the world's largest quite possibly for a giant person not me for sure <laughs> but anyway yeah the Definitely wrapping things up here over here. It looks pretty cool, you guys. Las Vegas Convention Center. It's gonna be pretty exciting to go in and check things out for sure. All right, guys that's it for me i'll see you guys in the next video it's been a long walk got my steps in so definitely leave a comment below what you think about this would you come here for a convention or some sort of event um, so there you go all right guys i'll see you in the next video cheerio